On September 14, 1927, the Houston Public School Board agreed to fund the development of two junior colleges, one of those being for African Americans. In the summer of 1934, the Houston School Board changed the junior college to a four-year college and named it Houston's College for Negroes. In February of 1946, Herman Marion Sweat, an African-American mayor carrier, applied to enroll in the law school at the University of Texas. But because Texas was one of the segregated states, Sweat was denied admission and later filed a suit against the University of Texas with the support of the NAACP. However, on June 14, 1947, the decision was made to use the site of the Houston's College for Negroes with this new campus at the center of a large and fast-growing black population. Thus, a new law school for Negroes of Texas and the Texas State University for Negroes was born. On 1951, Texas State University for Negroes was changed to Texas Southern University after students put to Today, Texas Southern University is one of the largest and most comprehensive historically black universities in the nation. TSU is one of only four independent public universities in Texas and is the only HBCU in Texas recognized as one of America's top colleges by Forbes magazine. Texas Southern University offers bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degree program in the following academic colleges and schools, such as the College of Education, the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs, the School of Communications, Thurgood Marshall School of Law, and many more. Ashley Venon says, TSU means excellence and achievement. TSU is where I can relax. Currently, Texas Southern University is staffed by approximately 1,000 faculty members and support panel. More than 9,500 students represent ethnically and culturally diverse backgrounds present on Texas Southern University's campus. I'm Champelle Hopkins. This is TSU News.